posted a video last week about the cracked tongue on this uh, whole lot man lift. Had a chance to talk to tech support at whole lot. I think we figured out what's happening here. Uh, a lot of guys are guilty of leaving this thing hooked to the pickup truck when they try to go set this up. And then when those outriggers come down, it puts unnecessary stress on the frame right here underneath. This is what I call the cradle where your lower boom is stowed there. And so the, the frame tends to crack over time. Uh, we don't do that because we pull this with a pretty heavy truck. Instead, what was happening is as we do the auto level from the basket, because this particular machine has drive and set feature on it, uh, the rear outriggers are coming down a little faster than the front ones. And it's just enough to put a little bit of pressure up here on this jack. And since the jack is in front of that cradle, we're getting a crack uh, in the frame here, which is the same spot on this one. They've got a hole drilled in here to let the wires come up for those sensors in that lower boom. And um, for some reason, this is not reinforced from the factory. Uh, I feel like that should be. They've done it here where the brake line comes out, as you'll notice on the front right there. Um, but for some reason, they're not doing that here. So we're gonna reinforce this one on ours just because I don't like that not reinforced because that is a critical point. Second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move that jack back here and we're gonna bolt it to uh, this part of the the tray here. We've deleted the air and water on ours because we don't use that. <clears throat> and um, by moving that back there, it's going to take that strain off of the frame. And then the second thing we're going to do is the factory's told me there's a program they've already emailed me that we can hook up to the computer down there in the lower control module with a laptop and we can adjust the current flow to the, um, the actuators here on the front so that these front legs will come down faster than the rear ones and that allow it to take the pressure off of this jack, get the front of the machine off the ground before the rear outriggers touch. Uh, so I'm gonna run you through this. I'm gonna do this on a time lapse, but uh, I've done this twice, unfortunately, uh, before we figured this out. And this uh, tube well mount here is not inexpensive. I think this was 11 or 1200 bucks for theirs. So we got the tongue off of this, as you can see. Uh, this was our patch to get by. I know it's not beautiful. I know that's not, you know, OSHA approved, uh, but we had to drag this thing around another week while we were waiting on this tongue to come in. We threw a patch here. Uh, that stopped the crack on this side. And then we hammered this back down flat and took an oversized, this is about 3 16 uh, steel washer here and welded this around. And it looks like it held no problem. I did check it daily. We weren't going far with it. Definitely not getting on the highway. Uh, and you can see on this side, the crack didn't grow any further there. So we got everything out. Uh, this brake line was damaged. We went ahead and cut and pinched it this week. So I've got a new one. We're going to replace this brake line all the way through here. Uh, and when I did take this off this time, one of those bolts snapped. So we're going to go ahead and replace all three of these since that's the only thing holding that tongue uh, to that receiver hitch to the truck. I would definitely replace those each time. So obviously you guys can see there's a slight discrepancy there. The other thing I noticed is that front mounting hole and that rear one have quite a bit of uh, oblong to them where they've kind of worn a little bit. Uh, now if you notice, I pulled that 550 cord through there as I pulled these out and I did that to make sure I had enough length on that cord. So I'm gonna run those through the new tongue. Makes it a little easier to chase the brake line wires for your tail lights as well as your parking brake when you're putting all that back together. I did do an inspection on that hole there to make sure there's no cracking in there. All those wires look good. We don't have any rubbing or anything like that. Um, I don't know if you spotted it in the time lapse, but these are the backs of your sensors. These plugs are just a quarter turn and they attach down in there. And so I always mark left and right uh, just with a little bit of white chalk paint. I got the new brake line installed. Uh, we went ahead and put a sleeve on there. We found that it was rubbing up here where it attaches to the coupler up front and then as well as back underneath the machine. It kind of makes a hard 90 over the axle and that was starting to get uh, kinked as well. So we got that in, put a sleeve protector on it. Um, I went ahead and ran the 550 cord out to, we got our plug up front, our brake in the side, and then in the top there we've got 
the sensor plugs. That'll make it a little bit easier as we slide this new tongue in. Okay guys, we got the new tongue installed. We did take the time to go ahead and run a new brake line all the way through back underneath the frame there. Had a couple of pinch points that were starting to leak on it. Uh, there are three big bolts underneath this frame right here where that tube slips in. We got everything reinstalled, checked all the torques on it. We're gonna run this for a week and then we'll recheck all these bolts to make sure nothing has loosened up. We did go ahead and replace the hardware up here in the tongue. One of those bolts had snapped off. The other two were pretty worn. I am going to shoot a video later in the week where we're going to mount that jack up here on that frame. What I'll probably do is just go through the whole machine and give you some of the upgrades we've done to this machine. Uh, be sure to tune back in for that. If you guys have got questions on this process or any improvements, feel free to throw that in the comments. Thanks again for watching.